Afternoon, everybody. Just getting into our daily recap for today. Since we did have that uh, AM and PM session stream, this one will be a little bit shorter just because we already discussed most of the uh, price moves for the day. If we just look quickly here, though, on the hourly, you'll see that really finally had a, a trending day. So sold off, clearing a bunch of sell side targets finally. All right, you'll see to start off the morning, we created a fair value gap here in London. And that one hour fair value gap really held us in New York and sent us lower, finally breaking through this original one hour fair value gap that we've been finding support at these past few days. So let's go ahead and drop down to a lower time frame. But remember, this is here. That 15 minute fair value gap, I'll go ahead and remove that just so it's out of the way. But remember, we're trading inside of that area. Here in London, London created our power of three. So midnight open here, where we come create a short term low, trade up and through it, clearing these short term highs, returning perfectly into our new week opening gap. Right here, right hit those levels perfectly. And then just sell off from there. We break structure with displacement at this low, leaving behind that one minute fair value gap, as well as now these consecutive down close candles become the breaker. All right, with we'll swing high, swing low, higher high gets broken with displacement. So these all become the breaker. As you see, these levels are aligned. So price finds resistance here beautifully and just continues to trend lower the rest of London and uh, into New York. Right, you'll see that in London, we do deliver to our sell side target here. So we have that aggressive run into that sell side, heading into the end of that London kill zone, and then we really just consolidate inside of now, right? This is that original one hour for value gap. Notice how after delivering to sell side target, price just references that area and bounces back and forth. I'm going to go ahead and remove this hourly. So heading into our New York session, where we create this little phantom trend line. <clears throat> so at 930, our 930 opening, we run back up, clearing out all these short-term highs in here and returning us into our 830 opening level. All right, we find resistance here and now break structure again. So creating another bearish setup just ahead of the 10 o'clock news. So you'll see that, right, we create this short-term high being cleared, market structure shift, this down close candle now becomes our breaker block. And as you see, right, I just highlighted this fair value gap here, because this is the whole fair value gap, but just to overlap with the breaker, since we would like the breaker to hold, this is where we kind of look for that fair value gap to uh, play out. Right at 10 o'clock, we get that perfect delivery and stab up into it. Candle bodies hold beautifully. And from there, right, we really just rejected and continue to trade lower throughout the morning. We had mentioned this one minute fair value gap. We would like to see price trade through underneath and close below. Happens here. Get one more trade back up into the breaker, but ultimately, right, we give up. Turn around and continue to trade lower, creating our bearish volume imbalance. And from there, really just expanding now into this here was right our sell side target. So this here, sell side, sell side here as well. Back on the one minute now, right? Those are these two levels here that get hit. So this level <clears throat> and this level as well. I just had marked this out. We shared it right on my Twitter. Just a nice little sell model. So after attacking sell side here first, right, right at uh, just after 10.30, so we had cleared the opening range, right? We had taken out the opening range low. So that was an indication that the day may continue bearish heading into the afternoon. So at this whole run up here was simply a sell program being created, right? We have that smart main reversal, original consolidation here, reaccumulation, and then delivery into just this premium, which was referencing again, that inversion fair value gap. So you see, I've dragged it out. Notice how the candle bodies hold there beautifully. 
creating then right that smart money reversal now at the high for that reaccumulation or redistribution sorry here into this original sell side it's a really clean buy side of the curve into our sell side of the curve at that point right we're heading into lunch so we just expect this kind of consolidation we've already delivered into plenty sell side targets but right price was still very much trending so we just continue to trade lower you notice how as we break below this here for value gap we break lower create equal lows here at this sell side pool so now as we retrade up right we were just creating more liquidity here this return was simply into this inversion for value gap as well as right that most recently formed structure so think we have a short-term high cleared here short-term high cleared while also returning into right a bearish fair value gap so we've returned into a premium array while clearing a short-term high and from there we then reverse and break structure lower so clean youtube setup and now right we would look for that fair value gap here to hold especially seeing how it's in line with this five minute fair value gap that i have dragged out notice the candle bodies hold right there beautifully right where they hit the high of the five minute inversion but they hold at the one minute so just a uh, good meshing right of the time frame and the concepts here after finding resistance there we then just continue to deliver into sell side so each swing low that gets created right we continue to target retrace here just into right more inefficiencies volume imbalance inversion fair value gap before giving us now another leg lower and really expanding here and selling off right at this point we were just looking for now that daily swing point to get targeted and remember this was our last swing point so that's this daily low here so we have this daily swing point part of this for value gap still left open and on the weekly right this also aligns with a weekly level so it's also the weekly low and the weekly fair value gap so a lot of things right drawing price into that area you'll see how we fall just short of it i'll go ahead and move right just to this most recent one minute for value gap here to that most recent premium array but you'll see now right we fall just short of that higher time frame liquidity point we trade off of it come back down one more time creating equal lows barely sweeping those equal lows but still failing to uh right deliver us into the actual higher time frame sell side so after sweeping these lows that's when we get that retracement just to now clear out buy side so creating a miniature seek and destroy model in here so now after clearing right this sell side short-term low we've come up and clear buy side so buy side and now a short-term high being cleared and finally now after clearing the short-term high we get that delivery into right this short-term low and now our original target of that old daily liquidity pool you'll notice how after we finally deliver there right we create a three drives pattern here so three lower lows one swing low two swing low three swing lows classic reversal pattern also occurring at an old daily swing point Right, so think of that as purging and now we reverted back above right with displacement here in this candle and notice how this next following candle trades right back to that old daily low level perfectly so a beautiful purge and revert three drives reversal pattern here to wrap up the day and then right we target now this buy side and really complete complete that seek and destroy profile for the uh, power hour session and right when I say seek and destroy, we're talking about start here, swing low, swing high, right? Lower low, higher high. So we keep on going back and forth, lower low, higher high, right? Lower low, and now a higher high. So no one was safe here. Continued to take right buy side and sell side, just back and forth.
So yeah, that was all for the uh, afternoon. All right, we had mentioned that this fair value gap here was our one minute in a discount. Which is why now we see right price trade up into that. Let me go ahead and just show you kind of the precision. So we had right, that's the high of the one minute fair value gap. Notice where the candle body stopped. So we finally complete that seek and destroy and then we just draw into the one minute fair value gap that's in a premium from this whole leg down. And you'll see how the candle bodies hit that level to the tick. And from there, we just consolidate. Here, I finally got a uh, our first trending day in a while. But as we mentioned, right, not out of the woods yet. All of this downward movement could simply just be a return into this right daily fair value gap here. So we've cleared a short-term low, returned into a daily fair value gap, as well as <clears throat> a weekly fair value gap. And notice how we've wicked. So right, we could see, and we're actually opening with a bullish volume imbalance. So we could easily see right price now just trade back into this range. But yeah, that'll wrap it up for uh, today's review. As we spoke about tomorrow morning, we'll plan on doing the uh, morning session live stream. So until then, have a good night and I'll see you guys tomorrow.